Um, it was a good game. You know, both teams had very different contrasting styles, and um, we made some adjustments to what Elon was doing. They're very good in possession, and they got some special players that you want to try and negate time and space for. Um, early on, I thought they got what they wanted, but we made some adjustments, and there we were in the second half up 2-0. Again, with a lead in the second half, a multiple goal lead, and we just could not hang on to it. Elon put us under a ton of pressure. Uh, the number 15, Tori Baliatico, made the first goal on her own. It was a tremendous effort. Um, I thought they were gifted a free kick on top of the box for the second goal. The Northern Irish kid, Hannah Doherty, took it very well, but that's never a foul on our goalkeeper, but that's the game. Um, so uh, we're disappointed that we couldn't hang on for a 2-0 lead and get ourselves into the playoffs. Questions. How did the game change after they scored that second goal? It was interesting because um, at 2-1, we tried to get a little more conservative. Um, and we conceded. So we went back into a 4-4-2 diamond. Uh, but it was interesting because Elon appeared to be playing simply for a draw in overtime. Um, they, were, they were content with the draw, which keeps them in last place, which was interesting. What do you, so I don't, I don't really know how to describe that part of it. What do you attribute to that first goal that they scored? Just the, I told you, number 15, Tori Baliotico, just made her mind up. She wasn't going to be stopped. And the initial shot uh, fell right back to her feet, and she, she buried the rebound. Can you just describe the roller coaster of this entire season being hired so late, having to deal with the hurricane, and then it seems like tonight. decades ago uh, that was only three months ago. Um, a lot we accomplished a lot this year. A lot happened this year. It was just a very crazy, intense three months. What did you learn about your team this year? You know, um, when I showed up, they were they were hungry and ready for success. You know, they're ending the year nine, six, and one. Um, we finished, unfortunately, in a tie for sixth place, and a tiebreaker is going to keep us out of the CAA playoffs. So I learned that they're, are, they're just great kids. They work their tails off. They're eager to get better. Uh, I told them the other day, man, if my daughter turns out like any of them, I'll be a very happy dad. Uh, just I could not have asked for a better group to step into so late, like you mentioned. Moving forward, most of them are going to come back to next season. Yep. How do you view the potential of next season being so promising? Well, we, I mean, we have a lot of experience coming back. So, and we've got a lot of upperclassmen next year. So that part's exciting. 